Hey everyone, it's me. I am back again with another video. Finally, it took me forever to actually do a video, but today I'm going to. I hope you guys are having a good afternoon, day, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, so I'm going to be showing you something I recently been doing that is completely uh, that is completely different um routine for when I do my makeup so there's my nighttime routine plus a routine for a mask but I also have another routine for when I put my stand for makeup I'm not actually gonna put any makeup on today because lately at butt work I have been getting so hot a lot lately especially at home as well so I thought um, that I want to do something, just something plain, something simple, so it can give my skin, allow it to breathe, and, um, a little bit more refreshed, and really get, restore its natural barrier, so, of course, you always, 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 always cleanse, 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 I always put in a little bit of water in it, to make it more of a creamy consistency to it. I prefer creams instead of um, having without it. And if I leather up really well, gain that friction to warm it up, and then I just leather around my skin, really plumping it up and Restore its natural barrier. I'm gonna rinse this off with a quick. Don't worry, I won't be too long. I usually have like a facial tool for when I do it. But lately I haven't been because I have been breaking out recently and itching you know, so I might as well take care of that. And I finally found out what it was. I have been swimming a lot lately um, about my gym that I go to. And with that being in mind, um, and it, um, with all that chlorine in my hair, it got me itching all over, but I finally got that under control. I haven't been breaking out that much. So right now we just got started with a new product. This is, of SPF 50. I love this. I used this just the other day. I don't put too much on, but at least plenty enough to put it on my neck and throat. So I just flatter it up pretty well and I just did that friction and then I press it onto my skin, neck and throat. You can never waste the products, you guys. Never. Always. I always carry SPF with me every single way. You never waste the product, you guys. And then I let, and I let this absorb into my skin. Usually, it takes about three to five minutes to have this sit and everything, so I can get that beautiful radiant for my skin. Um, and then I usually don't do a heavy cream, especially when I go into work, but I want to show um, the cream that I use to make sure I get that nice, dewy, glowy, natural look that, of course, that makes it look like you have um, and your skin is as light and not so heavy 
I try to rem remove all the products away from my face with my headband so none of it can go into my hair. Whenever I have like product on, I try to put my headband up so I don't always um the product inside my hair if it does my hair doesn't really turn out so well so i try to at least um do that first the mm, so with that being said i hope this really helps uh not just me but everyone else you can already tell that my skin has that nice um uh dewiness that's coming in you can see that shine that's getting ready to glow and radiant um everywhere that i go um and right about now it's about that and it's already plenty of time for my skin to absorb all of that spf so now i'm gonna go ahead and put on my moisturizer so i do have lotion in the other room but i'm at which is light and airy of course which i use all the time but today i'm actually going to put on my sensitive skin um bonus collection um this oh and it smells so good it's like it's colored oatmeal. If you smell oatmeal before, when it's fresh out of the microwave, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't put on like so much. Like I try to put on a nice fair amount. So it won't be so heavy that I break out or that my skin doesn't have that right tone that i need this is like basically um kind of light toner uh for me because it gives that natural glow that the toner really um really helps with that giving that na it's natural glow and everything i do a little bit more on my sheets just because it helps nurture my skin a little bit more, giving it the right uh, treatment that it needs. I haven't been breaking out that much ever since I have been itchy. It's been like about a couple, about almost a week now. So. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side as well. I'm trying to keep its natural um, skin tone and everything. Of course, you can never do the eyes as well. You don't want to get sad the eyes when you're still um, getting older throughout the years. You might as well start younger, you know, and then it gradually go to my neck doing down the lift notes and everything and voila that's basically it it's just three little steps it's very nice and simple and it's not so much that you don't have a whole lot on to make your skin breathe i cannot leave the house without smelling good and looking good so i always put on a little extra something Especially, I use this one during the day. I love a nice smell. I'm actually going to do my hands and my body. I don't like mix and, mix and matching two products because it's not the same scent. Okay, and now... All of our products is filled with like shea butter and hyaluronic acid and a few others. So I try to do that. 
but yeah this is basically it this usually takes me like about like a five to ten minutes so i think i did a really good job within that time limit of course my elbows because the elbows are the dry side of it but yes this is my complete look that i do for makeup prep and um and everything i know and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed uh, making this video for all of you. Hope you guys have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.